Cleveland, Ohio, folks. Place where you can rehab duplexes like this. ARVs right now in the market today, they're like 100, 110, 120 for duplexes rehabbed that look just like this, right? This one is available for 39 grand, right? You're probably like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, let me wipe the sheet on this off my face, Jerry Wise. I won't pay attention, dude. You're telling me the ARV is 120 Cost is only 39 I look like we going to burn some stuff today. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. That's what I'm here for, right? That's what I do. I help people like you. I help people like my main man, Jeff, from Temecula, California, who's wanting to know if this is going to be a bird deal. Or if it's a bird dud, let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Jay Wise here. Like and subscribe, you fucking filthy animals. I got I got kids. I got kids to feed, okay? It's a struggle being Jay Wise, okay? How do you think it feels to go through life knowing that your kids might only have one butler? It's insanity, right? My kids are just like your kids. I pay the butlers to put their pants on one leg at a time. Come on. Like and subscribe. Anyway. So this deal right here, my dude Jeff from Temecula, he sent it to me. And he's like, yo, Jay Wise, run the numbers. I think I'm going to bird a shit out of this thing. Uh, nah, dog, we ain't. Sorry. Sorry, player. This one's a bird dud, okay? I'm zooming in real quick here because I want you to see this. I'm going to talk about this in a second. See all this peeling paint right here? This is big time, big time, okay? Just remember that. While I had it on that photo, I just... Wanted you to see that. I'm just going to quickly cruise through the other two. Nothing I could really garner out of that one. This one's also a great example, okay? See all this peeling paint? It's fucking blurry on this TV, but you see all this peeling paint? It's there, okay? I don't I don't know how well that's coming through looking at it on your freaking iPhone that's like this big, but I don't know. Maybe you're watching on your TV, dude. Maybe you're Roku playing me out right now. I don't know. Uh, but there's a bunch of peeling paint everywhere, okay? And that's big. That's big for two reasons, right? Uh, reason number one that that's big is you're going to have a really large rehab budget, a rehab budget that you're probably not anticipating, okay? The rehab budget is going to be larger than you uh, would guesstimate, right? Why? Why? Why, Jay Wise? Why is that rehab budget so high? I'll tell you, dude. I'll tell you why it's so high. It's going to be high, dude. It's going to be high, like Snoop Dogg high. Y'all see Snoop Dogg smoking weed at the Super Bowl? And then people are like, oh, my God, Snoop Dogg was smoking weed at the Super Bowl. But, of course, Snoop Dogg smoking weed at the Super Bowl. He's, super, he's, he's, he's Snoop Dogg. Duh. Anyway, so uh, here's the deal. You got all this lead work you need, and that's a big thing now in Cleveland, okay? They just recently changed the laws. There's new lead laws, okay? And this is huge. This is monstrous, all right? I actually did another video. Jeff, you got to check it out. It's uh, below in the notes. Talks about the new lead laws in Cleveland, the new process, how to get yourself certified. The particular seller of this property has not gone in and done any type of lead certification work uh, whatsoever. So you as the buyer would need to take that on. Uh, watch that video to see that process, okay? It is a very cumbersome process. Now, all that said, right, like properties like this, okay, uh, I could see you having to most likely spend, I don't know, uh, probably 20 grand uh, taking care of all the lead stuff outside, which would probably be uh, you scraping and painting the porches, vinyl siding the whole thing, getting the soffits taken care of, right? So you're already at like 20 Gs, okay? And then you're going to definitely probably need to replace all the windows in the house, right? Because uh, I'm pretty sure this old beat-up ratty thing is all jacked up, right? Uh, windows? Dude, I don't even know, right? Like, what are windows right now? Uh, I think they're like... We got like 16... I don't know. You're probably looking at like 10, maybe 15 grand in windows, right? Let's just call it 15. Let's be safe, 
Better to guesstimate high on the repair charge. So you're probably at like 35, okay? 35. Let me write that down. 35 to get the sucker lead certified. But guess what? We don't know what the inside looks like. And based on the outside, I'll bet it's fucked, right? So we're probably looking at, I don't know, let's just say another 20 spot per unit. Because, hey, guess what? Paint on the outside? Yeah. There's also paint on the inside. So we're going to do a lot of le lead work in there. So now we're probably all at, oh, I don't know. What's that? 45, 55, 65, 75K, right? We're probably at like 75K. Uh, but there's more because uh, this is the twofold part of the problem. This house, this house is in the ghetto. This is a, it's a rougher neighborhood, okay? It's a rougher neighborhood, right? So it's in the ghetto, um, and that's going to be important to this video for several reasons, okay? Uh, one, it's in the ghetto, so guess what? You know what they do in the ghetto? They steal all the copper, uh, so that's probably gone, right? So we're already at like 75. So the copper is probably gone. Uh, furnaces are probably gone. The electrical wiring is probably gone. Dude, I've even seen uh, houses where they start stripping the, 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 the gutters, <laughs> and then I've seen it where they strip. Uh, they actually take the aluminum siding off. Man, I don't know what the scrap rate for aluminum siding off is, but like copper, if if you're if you're uh, heavily addicted uh, to drugs, copper is the best because you go into these houses, you cut out all the water lines, uh, you get the most money, the most drug money uh, with the copper, right? So, folks, if you're out there and you're watching this and you're like, man. I need some money for my next fix. What do I need to do? Well, copper's going to get you the most money. I, that was like a joke, by the way. I don't want somebody to somehow sue me for trying to teach people to steal copper. But, like, when you're in the tough neighborhoods, it's very common for the copper and stuff to be stolen. Like, we always replace them uh, with PEX. You could, some people do PVC, but they're cheap assholes and they're stupid because PVC is kind of shitty with all the uh, Cleveland weather. Uh, that's very easy to crack uh, when the temperature drops, right? PEX is a little more forgiving. PEX is where to go. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm getting off on a tangent here. What I'm trying to say, Jeff, is I'm guessing on top of the 75 I already told you about, dude, you probably, between all the shit that got stolen, that uh, could have been stolen, the furnaces, the mechanicals and stuff, I mean, I'd say you might be uh, between the lead, the mechanicals, cosmetics, to get this thing ready to rock and roll, dude, you're probably looking at, if I had to guess, 90 grand. Just napkin math, right? And uh, here's the neighborhood, okay? And this is what's probably going to happen to this property. Right next door, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot. Over here, vacant, 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 right? Vacant. Why are all these lots vacant? Because it gets to the point uh, where the cost to fix the property is more than the ARV. In Cleveland, you're going to see a lot of ARVs uh, in the 100, 120K range. But guess what? Not this fucking neighborhood. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Not this neighborhood at all. You ain't going to sniff no 100K uh, for a duplex in this neighborhood, dude. Way, way lower. So if you bought this thing, uh, whatever you paid for it, you probably will have lost that amount of money. So... Um, you're looking at my estimation, like 90 K. So the ARV is lower than that. So whatever you paid for the property, probably you're losing all that money. Right. And that's why these lots are vacant. People get to the point where they're all dilapidated. They're all destroyed. And they're like, well, uh, the house is worth, uh, 60, uh, but I need 90 K in renovation. Let me do some math. Oh, that's negative 30. Fuck this. They walk away from it. Don't pay their taxes. Government forecloses on it. Uh, then the government obviously needs to tear it down because it becomes a trap house, right? After you cut out the copper, you got to have somewhere cool to do your drugs, right? You cut out the copper, go to the scrapyard, get your drug money, go to the local trap house, buy your drugs, do your drugs, right? That's, they got to get rid of that, right? They got to get rid of the houses. So they tear them down, and then they sell the lots for a dollar. Uh, right, so for you, uh, no dice, bro. I see no way to turn this uh, bird deal into anything that will make you money. No go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.